Okay, everybody, so I'm in the 5125R again. I got some time just mowing some pastures today, so I got some time to do a little video or two for you. A couple more options to uh, show. One of them we talked about in the last video was the uh, field crews, which is a really great feature if you're doing a PTO work on a regular basis. It allows you to set a specific RPM that you want to run at in the field. I'm going to show you how to access that. So I'm going to click on the engine hotkey. When I do that, you'll notice that the lower uh, menu changes directly to the engine options. And the first thing in the engine option list is fuel cruise. We'll hit the check mark on the button. And you can see that I already have my fuel cruise set at 1950. Um, now in the book, John Deere suggests if we're running 540 economy mode on the PTO, we should be running at 1640, I believe, on the RPM. So I'm going to dial this back to 1640 with my uh, scroll wheel here. Get it down to 1640. Okay, and then once I'm, I have it set at 1640, all I need to do is just hit the back button, and it's set at 1640. So field cruise is now set at 1640. I'm going to down here. I'm going to switch my PTO from my 540-1000 standard to my 540 economy. And we're now running in 540 economy mode on the PTO and I've got my GMD 600 uh, disc bar here. We're ready to do some moat pasture mowing on this level area. So what I'm going to do, I'll show you real quickly, on the, on the hand throttle, this is your field cruise button. Right now it's off, it's not active because there's no red light here and the field cruise indicator is not here on the uh, heads up display. So if I were to turn my PTO on right now, this is going to run normal. Okay, PTO is running. We can see down here, if I switch to my run page, I'm at 318 or 313, it's bouncing around around 300 some RPM. We want to get that up to full 540, so I'm going to have to mess around with my hand throttle here until I get it right about where I want it. fine-tune that hand throttle, move it a little bit at a time to get it, let's see I went too high, I'm at 1660, so now I'm over 540, you got to dial that in. Okay, you got to keep, you just have to keep moving this around until you get it exactly where you want, and obviously you have a little bit of leeway, but it's something of a pain sometimes. So the field cruise option is really nice, so what we're going to do, I'm going to show you the field cruise, so we're going to drop this back down to an idle, we're going to shut our PTO off, let everything come to a stop. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit the fuel cruise button to turn the fuel cruise on. It's probably hard to see, but that little orange light comes on. Fuel cruise is now active. And I've got my fuel cruise indicator up here. That shows you the fuel cruise is ready to be run. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my PTO back on. PTO is running. And now all I'm going to do with my hand throttle, I'll just show you. I'm just going to take this hand throttle and run it all the way up. system brings that thing right to 1640. So fuel cruise is an excellent tool to use whenever you're doing uh, PTO work where you need a specific RPM to run at all the time. And this tractor will stay at 1640. It'll run at 1640 as best it can. Now, the only thing you, you have to watch when you run in economy mode, you're running a lot lower engine RPM. So if you start climbing hills, sometimes you kind of run out of horsepower. So the economy PTO isn't a, is the best option for everything, but when you're running, work, working on pretty uh, flat level ground and it's a low input requirement, 1640 can save you a good bit of fuel. If, you, if I switch to a different run page here, I can show you our current fuel consumption is 1.4 gallons an hour. And if I wasn't running in that, we could do a real quick video here while we're doing this. Let's shut this all down. Shut the PTO down. Turn the throttle back to idle. We're going to turn field cruise off, turn the PTO back on. Actually, we're going to switch it here to 540 regular. So we're in regular 540 now. Turn the PTO back on. And now I'm going to have to reset my uh, field cruise for 2100, I believe, or so. We'll, we'll mess with that here. We've got an engine, field cruise. Dial that back up to about 2100 or so, or might be even a little bit higher. Let's just start with 2100. I'm not sure exactly what the number is. We're going to start with 2100. Okay, so field cruise is set. We're going to turn field cruise back on. PTO is running. We're going to take that hand throttle and go all the way up again. Okay, 
we're making 2100 engine RPM at 500, roughly 540 shaft RPM at the PTO. And I want you to take a look at the difference in the fuel consumption. We went from what 1.4 to round two. So we're saying at least a half a gallon an hour. We got to remember we're static right now. Where tractor's not moving, so that fuel consumption would go up as this tractor started to move around the field. So at least a half a gallon an hour just in static PTO operation, if not more. So pretty cool. We'll show you some more features here as I get some time. But I wanted to go over the field crews and the uh, economy PTO a little bit for you today, just to give you some ideas of some, some of the options that the five or series tractor have. Hope you enjoyed the video.